Tonight, we get a second opportunity to talk with Senator Sanders about what he believes and what direction he wants to take his party and the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senator Bernie Sanders. When you're white, you don't know what it's like to be living in a ghetto. You don't know what it's like to be poor. You don't know what it's like to be hassled when you walk down the street or you get dragged out of a car. And I believe that as a nation, we must be firm in making it clear. We will end institutional racism and reform a broken Thank criminal you. justice system. being here, Senator Sanders. We just want to mention that obviously there's uh, the coronavirus situation going on and President Trump is about to speak from the White House about the task force and you are able to see that uh, streaming right now on Fox Business. And, and on it is streaming, I should say, on foxnews.com and on Fox Business. So with that in mind, let's start and dive in here with our first question this evening. Welcome again, Senator Sanders, which comes from Makhti, who is a supporter of yours. Makhti. Good evening, Senator Sanders. The coronavirus has quickly become a public health threat with a global reach, and infection and death rates are rising here in the United States. What is your assessment of the Trump administration's handling of the outbreak, and what would you do differently? Good. You don't mind if I stand, do you? Not, Not at, at all. all. Your choice. All right. Um, Sadly, we have an administration in Washington that has shown the world that it does not believe in science. <laughs> its attitude toward uh, climate change, which it thinks is a hoax. It thinks is a hoax. President Trump believes climate change is a hoax. I won so many environmental awards. Shockingly. No, it's true. And you know what I do? I want really immaculate air. I want clean crystal water. Donald thinks that climate change is a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese. I think it's real. I, I did I not. I science did not. is real. I do not say that. And I think it's I do important not say that. that we... And if we do not seize this moment to do the right thing, history will look back at us. And our children and our grandchildren will say, where were you? And during that period, with Nazism and fascism growing, a real danger to the United States and democratic countries all over the world, there were people in this Congress saying, don't worry, Hitler is not real. It'll disappear. We don't have to be prepared to take it on. And the longer we delay, the longer we have this senseless debate, the less prepared we will be. That global warming is one of the major hoaxes ever perpetrated on the American people, that it's a hoax pushed by people like Al Gore, the United Nations, and the Hollywood elite. Uh, yes, I'd, I'd add to that list, uh, moveon.org, George Soros, uh, Michael Moore, and a few others. All right, there we go. That issue, because it is a quote-unquote hoax, according to Senator Inhofe and others, or do we believe and agree with the overwhelming majority of scientists? Donald Trump is a climate uh, change denier, and he believes that climate change is a hoax. And Donald Trump has concluded that climate change is a hoax. From day one, my administration has made it a top priority to ensure that America is among the very cleanest air and cleanest water on the planet. We, we have only one America. We have only one planet. That's why every day, of my presidency, we will fight for a cleaner environment and a better quality of life for every one of our great citizens. And it is absolutely imperative that Donald Trump not become the next president of the United States. Donald Trump's view is that climate change is a hoax created in China. Now, if you think that is not important, you think you can sit this one out, that's fine. So tonight, we tell Donald Trump Climate change is not a hoax. Donald Trump is a hoax. What is your position on global warming? Do you 
think it's a hoax? No, no, not at all. Nothing's a hoax. Nothing's a hoax about that. It's a very serious subject. I went clean air. I went clean water. I went the cleanest air with the cleanest water. So, first of all, this is what I would do. You need scientists leading the effort, not politicians. Well, no fucking shit. No shit, Sherlock. This cannot be in any way, shape, or form perceived to be a political issue. Senator Sanders, you know, to Monty's point, <laughs> to Monty's question about what you would do differently, you know, standing around the president right now are a lot of scientists, Dr. Good. Tony Fauci, yeah. um, and the head of the CDC, a lot of experts. Good. Would you not have those experts? Of course I would. Well, what would you do differently to his... Well, but here is the point. I would not be a president saying to the world, oh, by the way, was he on Fox saying this, right? I have a natural ability to understand the problem. Uh, and I like this stuff. You know, my uncle is a great person. He was at MIT. He taught at MIT for, I think, like a record number of years. He was a great super genius, Dr. John Trump. I like this stuff. I really get it. People are surprised that I understand it. Every one of these doctors said, how do you know so much about this? Maybe I have a natural ability. Maybe I should have done that instead of running for president. But you know what? Uh, what they've done is very incredible. I understand that whole world. I love that world. I really do. I love that world. And they should be given tremendous credit. And the whole world is relying on us. Is that true or not? Well, sure, I think he did say that, yeah. All right. He doesn't have a natural ability. I mean, you don't... He said so, that's all reporters at the CDC. But I understand that. All right, but my okay. point is, for a start, as a president, I don't claim, if I'm president, that I'm the world's greatest scientific expert on climate change or coronavirus. You listen to the scientists. You don't say stupid things. You don't say stupid things. Here's the good news. Donald Trump is not going to become president of the United States. Donald Trump will not become president! The American people are much too smart to allow that to happen. Donald Trump is the president of the United States. You don't say stupid things. The Bernie Sanders rape fantasy essay explained. When I saw this earlier today, I saw Owen Schroyer on air covering and I saw it. Is that a joke? He goes, no, here's the NPR article. I went and listened to it. I'm overwhelmed right now. You're a dirty communist that talks about all these three things. I'm going to rape you. A man goes home and masturbates. His typical fantasy, a woman on her knees, a woman tied up, a woman abused. You don't say stupid things. Funny, Bernie, I never had that fantasy. I thought about a woman loving me and wanting to embrace me and jumping on me and loving me and us enjoying each other and like together. I never thought about her tied up on her knees, man. A woman enjoys intercourse with a man as she fantasizes being raped by three men simultaneously. No, dude, that's your freaked out, crazy, inbred globalist brain, man. That's not what women are fantasizing about. The man and woman get dressed up on Sunday, go to church, or maybe to a revolutionary political meeting. Have you ever looked at a stagman hero through magazines on the shelf of your bookstore? Do you know why the newspaper with the articles like Girl 12 Raped, Girl 12 Raped, Girl 12 Raped by 14 Men Sell So Well? I never read that. I didn't know that sold so well, Bernie. Right. I know we both agree about this, which is that uh, if a Republican, any Republican candidate wrote an essay like this, whether they were 16 years old uh, and high on dope or whether it was two weeks ago, it would be a huge scandal. I think a lot was. I mean, I think and I feel this as strongly as I believe anything, uh, that the future of this world uh, is going to depend upon uh, the ability of the United States and the Soviet Union to develop a positive relationship. If you had to, if you had to, would you close down the border? No. I mean, what you don't want to do right now, we have a president 
who has uh, propagated uh, xenophobic uh, anti-immigrant sentiment from before he was elected. Bullshit. What we need to do is have the scientists take a hard look at what we need to do. They're How dare you? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. People are dying. How dare you? And may God have mercy on your soul. How dare you? Uh, but let's not go back to the same old thing. Isn't it interesting that a president who has been demagoguing and demonizing immigrants, the first thing that he could think about is closing down uh, the, the border. Uh, so we need scientists to tell us the appropriate approach, not a political approach. Okay. Uh Again, we closed the borders very early. We didn't let certain regions of the world come in. By doing that, we really saved a lot. We made a great decision, took a lot of heat over that decision. Just want to report to everybody that uh, thanks to the president's historically aggressive containment efforts, we have really been able to keep the risk to Americans low right now so that everyday Americans don't need to be worried. And so the president really deserves incredible credit because he got on this within days and weeks of learning from China about this and took action that people attacked him for. People attacked him for these actions on controlling our borders and quarantining people. But it's kept America safe. It's bought us time. So thank you, Mr. President. And last point, Donald Trump, I know he's on the network a whole lot. Donald, you're probably watching. How are you? All right. I know. Wanted to say hello to the president. He's, he's thinks, giving a news conference. Oh, is he? Well, I'm sure he's watching Fox on the side there. You know, he's <laughs> kind of addicted to your station. What are you, fucking stupid? Everybody knows you never go full retard. Are you fucking retarded? What the hell's the matter with you? You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Uh, Trump thinks that climate change is a hoax. Well, do you think it's a hoax? No, no, not at all. Nothing's a hoax. Nothing's a hoax about that. It's a very serious subject. I want clean air. I want clean water. I want... And that's because he doesn't understand or respect science. Uh-oh, retard alert. 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 And that's because he doesn't understand or respect science. You're full of shit. Bernie just drove me crazy. He was in Congress for years, years. He had one senator support him. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. He got nothing done. He was a career politician. He, had, he did not work till he was like 41, and then he got elected to something. It was all just baloney, and I feel so bad that, you know, people got sucked into it. Wow, that's strong stuff. What's your reaction? Unlike Secretary Clinton, on a good day, my wife likes me. <laughs> Sat there in the second row, I could not take my eyes off him, and he couldn't take his eyes off me either. Trump has his agenda, uh, and I have the feeling that deep in his heart, he's really not all that worried about me. I appreciate his concerns. Uh, I, you will forgive me if I don't necessarily trust him uh, or, or uh, believe him. But I will say this. Uh, he has some very smart political consultants around him. And a couple of weeks ago, a political consultant, somebody asked him, well, who would you rather run against, Sanders or Trump or whatever? And what the guy said, I forgot his name, he said, you know what? Running against a movement makes me nervous because they understand that our campaign is more than just the campaign. We are creating a multiracial, multi generational political movement. Hey, boy, pull my finger. <laughs> let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go. Let go.
gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe, here in this great hall of justice are the most powerful forces of good ever assembled.